Good morning artists. In today's lesson you're going to be looking at automatism in surrealism. You will be experimenting with the styles used by other artists and you'll use automatism to create an abstract work using line, shape and colour. And you'll also understand what organic shapes are. We will be inspired by the wonderful Spanish surrealist artist called Jean Miro, who was born in 1893 and died in 1983. He used organic lines and shapes and colour was really important in his abstract compositions. First of all, let's understand what is automatism. It refers to creating art without conscious thought, assessing material from the unconscious mind as part of the creative process. What this means is you're creating art without thinking about what you're doing. So you start the work without a clear end goal. You don't sit down and think, right, I'm going to paint an apple. You sit down and you just start painting or drawing and whatever ends up on the canvas is your finished product. It doesn't matter if it represents something or it does not. Miro used lots of bright colors and organic lines and shapes. His earlier works, you could still see some things being represented, such as in this picture, you can still see it is supposed to be a woman in front of the sun, as the title suggests. Harlequin's Carnival is one of Miro's most famous artworks. It is full of organic lines and shapes and bright colors. Again, you can still think, see things that are being represented from real life. So it is not totally abstract. Miro also used a lot of signs and symbols in his work to represent different things. As the title of this work suggests, um, abstract, it is totally ab abstract, which means it is non-representational. Miro was not trying to draw or paint a picture of anything in particular, but was just drawing from his subconscious mind. Here is another very famous work of Miro's which is called Blue 2. Again it is abstract and it's, there's actually a series of these paintings where there are a couple of them that look quite similar to each other. Again the work is totally non-representational and is just an indication of what he was or what his subconscious thoughts were at that particular time. So remember in this activity there is no right or wrong, you are simply going to use your black marker and you're going to draw shapes and lines on the page as you wish, so just drawing from your subconscious mind. Um, remember Miro used lots of organic lines and shapes, so organic shapes are the shapes that are found in nature, like the shape of a teardrop or the shape of a leaf. Um, a geometric shape is a shape like a triangle or a square that have um, corners. Uh, organic shapes are the shapes of shells and things found in nature. So try and include those in your artwork. But other than that, there is really no right or wrong. Um, add as many lines, as few lines as you want. Remember, it's not supposed to represent anything. It's um, not re representational. It's supposed to be an abstract work, so it's actually a really, really fun exercise because you can be as free and creative as you want. <laughs>